Oh, shit. Ah. All right, hello there. Yeah, all right, all right. So, you know, something was on my mind this morning. You know, it, 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 and it's really a topic that everybody needs to talk about. And this has to do with taking the head and running. That's something I've done many, many a times. Me and nigga eat my pussy, and I don't do nothing in return, and I just kind of, you know, bounce my ass on somewhere. So let's kind of discuss this, ladies, because this happened to us, and we've done it before. This is the thing with me. If you offer to eat my pussy, I'm I, you ain't gonna keep offering and me not accept. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's just like somebody keep offering me some money. I'm not gonna be all no, 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 no. You got about two times. I'm gonna tell you, you know, keep that shit up. Yeah, I'm gonna let you eat my pussy, but that does not equal me bending over for your ass. You know, that's a whole nother step. I understand some people will say, well, Dr. Phil says that oral sex and, 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 and intercourse are, are, are the same thing. So, you know, you, you should just let me go. Uh, look, well, you can go get do get your dick in Dr. Phil's pussy then. Because it is a different thing uh, for me. Um, yeah, you eating my pussy is one thing, but you stick your dick in it is another. You, you know, okay, so men, y'all got to understand something. Just because you eat my pussy does not mean you getting you you get your dick in it. We really got to kind of get that going. Um, a lot of y'all think y'all can change my mind. I mean, there's been times I told dudes, I may, you know, I, I ain't guarantee you no pussy, but if you just insist, then sure. You know, uh, <laughs> and they think they can change my mind, then they got their mouth poked out when they don't. Feeling played, feeling like they did something and got nothing in return. Oh, where should I start with that bullshit? First off, bitch, you got my energy. Nigga, I sat with you. I, sh I, sh I showed up to the location. Or I invited you wherever we are. You got to share energy with me. Anytime you with me for more than five minutes, your life has been uplifted and benefited. First off, nigga. Then I sat with you for an extended amount of time. You got to touch me. You got to put your hand on me. You know how many niggas don't qualify to do that? You got to touch my skin. That ain't nothing to be taken lightly and have your mouth poked out about. And then you got a chance to put your mouth on Jade. That's my pussy's name, Jade. On Jade? Nigga, this ain't no regular motherfucking down the street Atlanta bitch pussy. This is some this is some some, some shit here. This is some shit. This is a no tampon zone shit. I don't use tampon and JJ don't like that. This is a, a, a sacred womb, bitch. I, this, she gets yoni steam. She has yoni eggs going on. She shaved. She's put together. She ain't all loose and sagging and wagging and hanging off the bone. I mean, she ain't got no kind of odors to her. You, you're getting a treat, bitch. You're getting a treat. So don't try to come at me like you ain't getting nothing in return, bitch. You got to lick it. You got to see it. Do you know how many niggas don't qualify for that? Where is your gratitude? Where is your gratitude, uh, nigga? You didn't qualify for the pussy. You didn't qualify to stick your dick in. You qualified to lick it. It's two different qualifications. It's all kind of qualifications. Some niggas qualify to take me out on a date. Some cool nigga don't qualify to come back to the house. Some niggas qualify to come back to the house. Some qualify. Some niggas don't qualify for me to cook for them. Some niggas qualify to touch me, but some don't qualify to kiss me. Bitch, that oh, don't let me get on kissing. Some niggas qualify to eat it. For hours, but don't qualify to get your dick nowhere near it. Just accept it. Just accept you may not get the pussy. Now, I don't want to start off saying I'm not going to fuck because I don't know. It's been times where I have changed my mind. And I had the head has split me to a, no, no pussy tonight. I'm a lady. To Jada Fire up in this bitch. So, it has happened. But that's really back when I didn't have no standards, though. I ain't going to lie. Because, see, you know what? I'm going to tell you the truth, ladies. It didn't happen to me. Somebody didn't took my mouth and ran before. I was vibrating low one time, decided to suck some cock for all the wrong reasons. That nigga took that head and dipped. Ain't heard from him since. Hey, it happens. So, niggas, get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? Don't have your mouth poked out. Because if you complain about it, then I'm going to realize, I'm going to see, oh, this nigga don't know what, it, what, what, what the fuck he just got, the treat he just got. So, I done lost interest. It didn't happen plenty of times. Especially on the first date, nigga, or the, or the first time, like the first, in the beginning of it. Nigga, be pleased that you're getting my attention. Be pleased that I text you back. Nigga, in order for you to get here to eat my pussy, I had to text you back. Do you know how many niggas don't get that? Get your shit together. Oh, and another thing. A lot of y'all niggas' head ain't good. Somebody needs to, I've had a few, like, three men who have really knocked my goddamn eyebrows. My eyebrows are probably somewhere in the White House and Obama's wondering, 
whether Michelle is cheating. I don't even know what the hell, what kind of sense that made, but it's like it is. Somebody needs to teach a kind of lingus class. Because some of y'all niggas don't be doing shit. That, what is this, some kind of pit bull? Y'all ain't doing nothing. And yeah, and I be sitting there forgetting the moment and shit. Be sitting there because, you know, I don't like quiet sex. You know, I don't like... You know, awkwardness. You know, somebody and they eating your pussy or fucking. It's just birds chirping. See, I'm a real bitch, but honestly, I be faking it. I be faking it sometimes because it's awkward for me. It's really about me. I don't really care about what you think. It's really about me. Just the quietness. I don't like that. So if you eat my pussy, I'm over there forgetting the moaning shit. I'm over there. I wonder if I can get a young bird to come over here and if it would be loud or if I should get another snake. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, daddy, yeah. Mm. So that poor niggas, that's another thing. Just because a woman ain't complained about your head or your dick don't mean shit. Because I normally don't complain. I just don't call you back no more. I just don't ask for the dick again. I'm like, all right, okay, that was cool. And then, you know, I bounce. So every time nigga, and the one of women ever complain, that don't mean shit. Because I ain't really never complained unless he was worth it. You got to be worthy of a complaint. Because that means I want to help you. So, you know, let's just get that together, you know. So I just want to, you know, I'm going to sum this video up, video up and say, um... Niggas, um, have some pussy patience. Don't, pussy patience, if, you, if you're not exhibiting pussy patience, then you're stupid. You know what I'm saying? You just need to grow the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you also need to understand that give it, you know, if you really want to give it some time. Because the minute I feel like you complaining about me not fucking, you're definitely not fucking. <laughs> But I really take the mouth and run, you know. So, uh, yeah, ladies, that's all I got, really. I'm about to get some work done for the day, get some money as usual, and that's all I got. Yes.